You're watching the Technopova 3 disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Next, we need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. There's one Phillips screw which needs to be removed. Once that screw is removed, the camera bezel needs to be pried off. The camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off. At this point, there are 17 more Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now we need to place a plastic pry tool in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run along the edges to pop off the catches. Before we can completely lift up and remove the back housing, we need to disconnect the fingerprint scanner cable. The back housing is also made of plastic. There's some graphite film on this side to help transfer heat. Their antenna flex cables are on the borders on the other side. Now that we have access to the battery cable, we're going to disconnect that first. And then we can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. There's a coaxial cable on the bottom right side of the board that can be disconnected by just popping it off. There are two Phillips screws on the main board that need to be removed. There's a black tape on the top rim that needs to be peeled off. At this point, the main board can be lifted up and removed. On the main board, there's a 50 megapixel primary lens and the two megapixel depth and AI lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. None of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. There's a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is a white sticker on top, the quad flash LEDs, and there's some graphite film and copper tape over the front shields. There's also a rubber gasket around this connector. The SIM card and memory card reader is located on the back, as well as the connector for the front facing eight megapixel camera, and the proximity sensor is located on the top corner, as well as a dual front facing LED flash. There's also thermal paste over the back shields. Once the removable shield on the back is removed, we can see more thermal paste on top of the RAM and processor. Here's a better look with the thermal paste removed. To remove the battery, there's an adhesive pull tab provided on the bottom right corner to help you pry the battery off. Even with that pull tab, there's some adhesive on the other side of the battery. So we're gonna have to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply some to the edges of the battery and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats with adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. Here's a better look at the 7,000 milliamp hour battery. Now the other end of the coaxial cable needs to be disconnected from the subboard. And then there's a single Phillips screw holding down the speaker assembly that needs to be removed. Now the cover of the speaker can be lifted up and removed. Here's a better look at that cover. Now we can disconnect this flex cable from the subboard which connects the subboard to the main board. And then we can lift up and remove the subboard. There's a rubber gasket around the charger port and headphone jack and another liquid damage indicator sticker on the subboard. The primary microphone is located underneath this rubber gasket. And here's a look at the other side. The Z-axis linear motor or vibrator motor is located on the bottom right corner. 
and that's held down with some adhesive. And the same goes for the bottom speaker and the top speaker. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located on this side and is held down with some adhesive. So if you need to replace that, you can just pry it off. If you need to replace the screen assembly, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws, the back housing, and then you'd have to disconnect the battery cable from the main board and pry the battery off, giving you access to the screen cable. At that point, you'd heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry your old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen, making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the midframe, and reassemble your phone. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 3 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once all the screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.